bitch better have my money. There's some women who love to be fucking choked. There's some women, you know, talking about the girl, the guy punching the girl in the face. There's mm -hmm. some women, man, who who feel you don't give a fuck about them if you don't, you know. There's some. I'm telling you, to go to the Mel Gibson thing. My yeah. girl heard that. Her pussy got wet. Thinking about getting me to that point. Where <laughs> no, she was thinking about fucking Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, if that was if that was Road Warrior Mel, Road Warrior but not Mel. this melted version of Mel. <laughs> this this haggard looking man who I thought he was seventy. He, this this fucking Osaka. This bitch. <laughs> <laughs> has melted the road warrior, man. She yeah. <laughs> fucking Tina Turner what? couldn't beat him. But <laughs> this bitch beat him. But what do you think she did? She did something to she, set him off. She systematically... It could have been something really dumb and stupid, but she did something you, you to know get him was? to this point, I, in, I, I believe, point of rage. I believe that they have an understanding. I believe when you have an understanding, even with a prostitute, the understanding mm -hmm. is I'm paying you for pussy. But it can go wrong if she goes, you're a fucking, you're paying for pussy, loser. And right. you go, you're selling pussy, you fucking cunt. If you both break the fourth wall and <laughs> they, tell the truth. They broke, she broke the fucking using cunt wall, and then he broke, you, you, you are a using cunt. She's wow. a using cunt, uh, but she uh, did something using cunty. Yeah, what do you and think it is? It took his, he, he said it, he alluded to it. He paid for her ridiculous music her career. Dumb music. Oh, she probably sings like Yoko Ono. She does. We heard, we heard some of her. Yeah, and, we got and it. He's we heard paying some of her hundreds record. of thousands because yeah. he's just supporting it's, it, her. It's loungy music. It's like uh, James Bond type of music to start a James Bond movie. She's a good looking baby carrying dick sucker. <laughs> who, who <laughs> welched on her who deal? Who are you, Mel Gibson? <laughs> she, but she welched on her deal. You think she was? She became. She started thinking she was more than mommy. She, more than what she uh, really she is. She was there to take a punch. Uh -huh. If that motherfucker didn't get nominated for Apocalypto, he, <laughs> she was there to get kicked right in her pussy. <laughs> All Jeez. of a sudden, ouchie! It hurts. It's like, bitch, you are here to get kicked in the pussy here. <laughs> Yes. You suck my dick. She was a, a fucking well, kept pet. But well, I think. Well, go ahead, Jimmy. No, no, no. Go. Well, well I, I want to get into tape four, but go. I think Mel also. Don't forget, he was married for twenty eight years. He's. I'm sure he'd probably. I would. I would guess he had fucked. I mean, maybe he was a faithful guy. I don't know. But when you're at, when you're married for that many years through your the, the success of your career, I think Mel is a little out of practice with dealing with these <laughs> chicks. And but he probably read this chick like Mel. Had he been fucking a bunch of different broads all along and getting in and out of relationships, probably never would have had this happen. Yeah. This is the first one out of 28 years. You She's know. a hot, younger and piece of ass. Why would he have he a just, kid with her? My he's friend. a dumb motherfucker. He exactly. Has, because he welched, too. He he fucking liked her. Yeah. This is what happened. They, they ended up he liking each other. Right. He, he tried to destroy what she is. A right. fucking... A, a man, a, a fucking kept woman. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. is, no one keeps a woman with kids. Like, a kept woman is not a woman with kids. You fall for a woman with kids. You know what I mean? You don't go in and go, I'm going to just take care of you. and Because you have to gallivant all around the world with this bitch. This is... <laughs> Uh, this is in uh, first class. This is my hot chick. She gets on on the on the plane with with sunglasses. And right, she right. has a Louis Vuitton bag and her dog, and and she's a cunt. And he's sitting there <laughs> all disheveled and old, and he's a fucking idiot. And it's like, it like he fell for her. You she fell for my him. trips to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, she welched and he welched, and then because yeah, he, he just, didn't need to know, have a kid with her. He has no he eight or nine he, kids. I think. he played her out. Yeah. He, yeah. he usually comes in the face, but one day he felt <laughs> he felt connected. And said, "What the hell?" Got her pregnant and said, "I love you." He he fucking slipped up, and then she said, "I love you too, Melvin." And then <laughs> Melvin. fucking they had this kid, and they both they probably holding it up with two fingers by the collar, <laughs> like. Ugh. And, and the baby's just turning around slowly in a circle in his hand, like, what is this? They're both looking at it, pushing it with their feet. <laughs> like, 
like, what is this thing we did? Oh, and shit. now it's like, yuck. Now he's in hell. Now it's what yuck. is this thing we did? With, <laughs> with that, like how it's slowly turning. Yeah. Yeah. Between the thumb like and a wind chime. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, and she's blowing on it. And yeah. like, me too. But when you pick up a napkin with a substance on it, you're not sure if it's jelly or cum. <laughs> hey, with that, let's get into tape four. We played this late in the show yesterday, but with Patrice here, we'll get another angle on this whole thing. Wow. Tape I don't like the way four. he talks to her. Tape number four, I think, is our favorite now, right? Uh, tape number four Tape is four great. rules. Before we go into this, is this the... Is this... I am... I am absorbed by this. I by said this. It's it the is greatest the thing ever. greatest in Hollywood uh, tape... Or, or whatever scandal <laughs> really thing is. that I've ever heard. It's but the even the people who are ever. supposed to attack him, right? Okay, should start off with like, holy shit, yeah, this is great. Yes, and that's what we're waiting for from the mainstream media. Great. Like, and yep. I know they have to attack him, but there's articles coming out with the headlines like, hey, why isn't people, why are people um, mad enough it seems like people aren't mad enough and i think it's because of the hey. almost childlike perfection of his rage man jesus danny took us out of the show again and, and, and I'll, I'll tell you another reason people aren't as mad is because on some level people uh, know they are fucking being voyeuristic scumbags yes yeah. looking into a guy's living room the same way they did with alec baldwin the same way they did with yes. dog the bounty hunter michael rich is different that was public but people understand that they're being voyeuristic pieces <laughs> of Patrice shit. Patrice is making a great point. This is, I'm as a human too. being, you're like, no, I know, but I'm just okay. backing up both of you guys. That this is a holy shit as a human being, and they don't acknowledge Yeah, you got to step back for a second just to enjoy it right. and go, oh, my God, this is amazing. And then you can be like, oh, even the people, oh, 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 Even the people oh, oh. who are going to judge him and, and uh, you know, the, the, prof the, the, the professionals, Dr. Drew and all these fucking <laughs> traitors who are going to call him <laughs> narcissistic. Because, like, Dr. Drew never wanted to call a girl a cunt. It's like... The, right, the yeah, lying, right. it, it bothers me to such a degree. Right, right. Like, you, 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 this guy, man. Yeah, let's, get, let's get into this. Here it is, uh, tape number four. Total idea. <laughs> what the fuck do you hope to accomplish with that? What are you hoping to accomplish with that? What, are you going to pay me back? <laughs> if you do that, it's over. <sighs> it's over now. Fuck you. How dare you act like such a bitch when I'm being so fucking nice? <laughs> when I'm being so fucking so nice. So fucking nice. <laughs> oh, that looks like a problem. Huh? <laughs> that, that surveillance tape looks like a problem. There's someone with a gun to their head and four African-American gentlemen holding guns. On Where was it? ATM? I guess so. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yikes. <laughs> that looked scary. <laughs> he, by the way, me and Patrice are talking about this. He must be in the best shape, Mel Gibson, because anyone would have just had a stroke and died. Oh, with the heavy breathing and with the, the screaming like the that? The screaming. Oh, yeah. I, I couldn't yell like that without fainting, just for the <laughs> lack of blood in your head. What are you talking about? The you, first hour of the show, you were yelling like that. You, well, <laughs> not quite. I wasn't Mel mad. It, I, you, was, you, was, you was play emotion. And it still could probably yeah, yeah. raise your... Yeah, 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 yeah. You just get to the point where it's like, yeah, yeah, I want to make my point, so I'll yell it four times. I was doing I was doing Mel Gibson impressions. You talk to people, and it's just like you're laughing. You know you're talking with your friends. Yeah, like, yeah. Jesus, you hear me? He's like... Ugh. And you get, you do that you even fake. Like, it's like, you go, ooh, wait. Yeah, hyperventilating. You're fucking... Yeah, you get lightheaded. You, mm -hmm. how, is, how he's doing this without a blood vessel just fucking bursting he is, is so astounding. He's so fucking mad, but he's, he's still... Even in his, this is this is accepting your your responsibility. Even in his in his rage, he would calm down if he just accepted what he did. If he just goes, you know, I, I'm I'm right now. I'm trying to hold on to my dominance in the relationship. Mm -hmm. She at some point, and my girl, look, my girl, she's been around a long time. She, she, I used to be completely just. She's enamored, and I'm like king, fucking whatever, and. <laughs> After a while, your bitch starts to go, look at this fat idiot. And, <laughs> and you, you're fighting to maintain her looking at you like, you know, the same. Right. Because you, exactly. you don't look at her the same. She don't look at you the same. So, But you try to at least keep that, that kind of coolness. But o, 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 Oksana discovered something to make her go, you're just, look at you. 
Yeah. You're not Mad Max anymore. You're yeah. not even Riggs. Oh, you're just you're oh, you're yeah. edge of darkness yeah. and you suck. You're the man with two faces and one of them's wrinkled. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. You got fucking hair plugs, your hair's dry. I've been watching Mel Gibson. He's not Mel Gibson was a gorgeous oh, motherfucker right. when he was younger, man. His he hair's the, dry. Uh, it's sexual. dry. It's that dry. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Le leaving me hair, just dead hair. <laughs> that, dry leaving me. That hair. mattress stuffing, which is just uh, like it, death, like Bruce Willis cut it all off and oil it up. Well, just death to, starts. <laughs> wait, Patrice, is the movie death, called, death starts with your hair. It, it does. You, de you know, it does. Death, you start. Uh, death starts with your go, hair. Go to a Mad Max picture. It's all uh, moisturized. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Gibson. It's shiny. Mel Gibson's beautiful, man. <laughs> this conditioner in there. <laughs> his, <laughs> look at his hair in that. Dude, <laughs> that's some moist hair right there. He look could at do a Pantene that moist commercial. Hair. That's moist. He could do a fucking Pantene commercial. <laughs> <And> that, <laughs> that's just from being in Australia. Yeah. Just Australian hair. <laughs> right. He probably put some fucking uh, <laughs> some koala shit on his head every morning. <laughs> and it looked good. Eucalyptus oil. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now... He's just oh boy, and then you see that it's starting to dry out. Turn into the Unabomber, yeah. and he's just like <laughs> his eyes don't blink. He yeah. looks like Bobby Fischer right before he died. <laughs> <laughs> just a crazy Jew hater. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just he's now insane. But you know, you you see, you know, I I, I was kidding, I, you know, my girl says immediately. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> just more more black people fighting on the news and getting into trouble. It, this is That's like a court date, though. Somebody, somebody's attacking a suspect. Court date ends in brawl. Bitch better have my money. Great discussion, but what the fuck happened to the Mel Gibson tape number four? I, I think Let's we should break and go back to it. Uh, yeah, we're going to go right back into the uh, Mel Gibson tape number four after the break, okay? And uh, <laughs> as we go to break, we're going to play the Shining thing that D-Boy came up with. That shit's funny, man. And fucking what would Tyler Durden do dot com put it on the fucking front page today. That shit's hilarious, That's dude. a big hit for the opening it, Anthony show, D-Boy. In wrapping up, I just want to, you're right about people who galvanize races are killed and, um... I just wanted to congratulate you. You're going to be 150 before you die. I wasn't sure how that was going to come out. I kind of tripped to the finish line. It still works. Uh, com. if you want to hear this again, but here it is on our show right now. D-Boy's Mel Gibson uh, Shining Thing. Fucking embarrassment to me. You look like a fucking bitch on heat. And if you get raped by a pack of niggers, it'll be your fault. Yes. All right? Okay? I don't want you. What are you talking about? I don't believe you anymore. Believe me. I don't trust you. I don't love you. I just want to go back to my room. I don't want you. Okay? But I don't want you anymore. I'm very confused. Fucking listen to me. I just need a chance to think things over. Listen to my fucking ranting. Listen to what you do to me. You make my life so fucking difficult. Don't hurt me. You don't care. You don't care. I'm threatening. I'll put you in a fucking rose garden, you cunt. Do you understand that? The Obi and Anthony Show on the virus. Sirius XM. Damn show is flying by today. Patrice O'Neill in studio. Rockin'. Now, uh, we're going to get right into the Mel Gibson tape. Yes. Tape number four. We played it late in the show yesterday. We're going to play it again here so we could really enjoy it and, and, and get Patrice's take on it. Bask in and then it. Sam runs down the hall uh, during the break and goes, tape number five being released at 9.30 this morning. No <laughs> fucking way. And you know way. that the Today Show led today by saying, are these tapes real? They're even confused. Like, at this point, are these fucking tapes real? It's doing too much damage And we believe on him. this show that they have to be real. But they're questioning it because yes. it's so unbelievable to everybody. I have Mel Gibson from Australia on the phone. <laughs> we'll talk to uh, him. Uh, and also, the remix is coming in like crazy from one person. D-Boy is becoming a international star at this point. D-Boy is amazing. His shining remix is on whatwouldtylerdurtendo.com. We just played it for you. But now we got uh, Tiger Woods calling Mel Gibson. Whoa. We got uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter calling Mel Gibson. <laughs> Uh-oh. So we got a lot of shit to do. So we, we should jump right into tape number four here so we yeah. can play the remixes after that, okay? Let's hear uh, Mel Gibson. This is tape number four. And tape number five coming out in about an hour, and we'll certainly play it as soon as we get it. But first... Tape number four, once again. Total idea. What the fuck do you hope to accomplish with that? What do you
you hoping to accomplish with that? What, are you going to pay me back? If you do that, it's over. It's over now. Fuck you. How dare you act like such a bitch when I'm being so fucking nice. I did not blame you. You said I was mean. You were fucking annoyed at me. For what reason? What? I did nothing but be nice to you. What? I've done nothing but be nice to you. I didn't blame you last now, night. What are you a little bitch this morning for? I wasn't... I wasn't doing anything. What did I do? And you said, oh, also earlier today, you, oh, never mind. What the fuck were you going to say? <laughs> Mel is being a little unreasonable. <laughs> We've been saying it all along. Uh, oh. We're amazed that Mel Gibson has to put up with this shit. <laughs> He's, M Mel well, He's Mel fucking Gibson. But it's the old Mel Gibson now. <laughs> oh, yeah, with the dry hair. It's not the, I forgot. Yes. Not Road not, Warrior. Not the, not the <laughs> moist Mad Max. Hair. Mad Max. His hair's a little dry. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to say about any earlier today. It's just I was going to say about last night. That's all. We were supposed to go to jacuzzi, and you said you have to wait for something. So why do you have to wait? You said... Did you go to the goddamn jacuzzi? I'm, I'm afraid it's dark outside. Fuck it. <laughs> right there. I love that. This is how you know this is not all her. Yeah. Every time she does make a point, which anyone will do, yeah. Mel dismisses it. She went about that, and Mel was like, fuck it. Well, it's dark outside. I'm scared. Fuck it. Get out there, blow me. All Mel is doing <laughs> is throwing roundhouse punches, and every time she effectively blocks one, instead of going, oh, okay, you blocked one, he just backs up and goes, all right, and then uppercuts. <laughs> yeah, he just keeps coming <laughs> He's just in. looking for ends. But she's attacking him with what annoys him. Yeah, is her man. lack of her just her that, lack of humanity. No, yeah. he's man. so mad. Well, she has you her said, agenda. You said we will go to thing. jacuzzi. We go to jacuzzi. Yeah, she but sounds like Michio Kaku when but she if argues. That wasn't yeah. how, if that wasn't how she argued, mm -hmm. then he would go, what the bitch? What is this? Right. Are you taping me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Like, th that's what she does. Yeah. She, she was actually was being her. Fun man. Dismissive. Jacuzzi. It's all nice when they were in the sweetheart phase, you know. Mm -hmm. Mel. That's wonderful that you do for me. I love you. I love you, too. It's wonderful. <laughs> Fabulous. And, and then it's just like, oh, man, I was going to jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> Go fuck! <laughs> Why would that be a problem? <laughs> I don't know. He's mad, though. He's mad about the He's jacuzzi. Fucking mad. She, start, she started getting rights yes. somewhere in that relationship. She slowly got her rights, mm -hmm. oh, and he's damn. he's trying. He's he lost it, but he he didn't catch that she was getting her rights when he did, it just one day it, she, it, he she went, woke oh up and my she god. had she had rights. Oh right. my god, she's got rights. Yeah. <laughs> I just waited for you. I waited and waited till I fell asleep, and then waited and waited like two and a half fucking minutes. You're fucking snoring. Don't you dare <laughs> wait. You're blaming me right now. Now I'm blaming you. You went to sleep. I don't and blame blown. you. I deserve to be blown first before the fucking jacuzzi. <laughs> the greatest thing ever said I, by a man I right there. I deserve to be blown first before I the challenge jacuzzi. You. That is the greatest thing ever said by a man. When you think of the problems in the world, like there literally are kids who have flies crawling on their mouths. And then, like, if aliens came here and they just looked at all the human problems, and they went from someone with a fly on their mouth and then just fucking panned over to Mel, I deserve to be blown before the jacuzzi. Before the jacuzzi. Is this, gr is this greater than one step for... Oh, oh my God, one small step for me, yeah, one giant leap for Of course. That line is right up there. Right up with, there, yeah. Ick benign How can this be fake? If this is if this is a, a fake thing, Ball. it has to be put up for some kind of Oscar. Because it, it, no be one says amazing. that. No. no one says that in in improv. This has to be put in a time capsule. He would be for other generations. If, if, this was, if this was fake, he would be sequestered somewhere right now, going. 
I can't believe they're still fucking believing this when I said, blow me before the jacuzzi. <laughs> like that line, if I had said that as a joke and people believed it, I'd be, I'd be amazed. Mm -hmm. Amazed that people would believe that a human would say something that silly. Didn't he say to you can hear she talks over because she is very rude interrupting this oh, yes. amazing tirade. Yes. <laughs> Do, did, uh, boy, Jimmy. Doesn't he say like we, did that one part? Can we hear that again? Oh, we, I think we she went, went backwards. Didn't she go like you blew me? But he goes you blew me. Uh, you fell asleep without blowing me. He says it again before he says you yeah, deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time he says it. Uh, let me go way back then. Oh, it's, not, it's like a second what? before it. Oh, it is. Oh, All right. Let's, let's pick it up here. For what? What is she? The part. The, that's the thing. She said you. The thing where she goes. Oh my God. He. Uh, fuck it. Play it. Because there's something she says, and, and he, I, I still don't get. Because he was I don't get it. Part of it is this. I think she fell asleep before they fucked around. Yes, that's yeah, what yeah. Yeah, that's Mel okay. is one of these guys. Who, he's really feeling like he feels sexually rejected. And it's like, I used to do that in relationships where if I didn't get what I wanted sexually, I would okay. brood. Mm -hmm. And I would brood. And then the next day, everything, she'd go, how you doing? Fine. And I would wait for her to know oh. that she didn't do what I wanted her to do sexually. I was really hurt and selfish, but I was angry. And it was like she would do something else, like, uh, you know, uh, not get me the right kind of sandwich. I'd be like, what the fuck? That's not what I asked for. Right, right. All coming from this night before. And that's where but that what rage was the two about. Minute thing that, like, you that two-minute thing. You were sleeping two minutes. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. He, he yeah. apparently had to do something. So he left the room. He was excited but, to go into the bedroom and, and get a little action. He said but two she was and a half. asleep in two minutes. In two minutes, he came back. She goes, well, you left for a while and he goes a while it was two and a half minutes he comes back and she's snoring he said something like snoring yeah. yes, we, we are we are slowly uncovering this thing yes yes <laughs> again i think she changed the contract she, yes mm -hmm. she fucking in that she starts starting to treat him like a old man oh, with, dry with dry hair with dry hair keep going with the dry hair, hair. and yeah, that and solid. that's and he and that's her job was not to treat him like that yeah. her job was her job was to fucking make him feel like and, and there's one of the tapes where he goes i want a woman a woman to make me feel ugh. like a man yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Man. and he has no soulmate but because he because he's a fucking billionaire sociopath who now dick doesn't get raging hard he doesn't get road warrior hard no more <laughs> road right. warrior. and and he needs a girl that in accepts that his, his dick, dick needs is that, a little dick, bendy dick needs that brace like a road warrior <laughs> <on his leg. laughs> it, it, he needs love he yeah, needs somebody yeah. that loves his dry hair but he's all, <laughs> he's also here's where he fucked up and and changed the contract she is expecting Mel Gibson to be Mel Gibson and go, it's time for some fucking stupid. Instead, every time she rejects him, he's like, oh, come on. Yep. She yeah, wasn't yeah. ready for all. Come on. She's like, oh, no. Yeah. He's like, every guy I've fucked. He's like, he, he, she owns him. He should own her, but he doesn't. She owns him sexually, and he rejects yep. it. Women want, you to talk, yeah. women want you to talk the relationship from suicide. <laughs> they they like they they they're willing to take but they want that I'm telling you man my girl finds this to be she wants to get me to that point cuz it seems like it it means something but it's like d d they do that they like they fucking do that anytime like I have my girl now she talks, right? She talks a lot. <laughs> and she repeats things 50 times because she's like, I'm talking. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. Oh and I go, <laughs> and I got to go, I got to go, bitch, listen, man, you got to shut up. Holy and then she goes, see? And I go, look, the only thing I can do is leave. Because I'm not going to try to convince you. I'm telling you, you're trying to be abusive. You're trying to move into a, a position that ain't going to allow our relationship to exist. You being better than me. Mm -hmm. You can't live like that. Women can't live with a guy that's not better than them. So when she tries to start talking and, and here's what happened. And then I go, uh, and she goes, oh, let me finish. I go, okay, so I see where you're going, cunt. You're spreading your wings, huh? You think you're fucking, oh, shit. you think you're fucking a uh, prince of Zamunda, ho? Like you think now you explore with me? Explore by yourself, you fucking creep. And explore this, this new world without me. You're not going to explore on me. That's what she did to Mel. She's ex she explored and he flinched.
<laughs> he, she went like this with the with the pretending to hit him, and he went, "Oh!" And she uh, said, "Oh, this scared motherfucker. Uh, you can't uh, French uh, with uh, these bitches. Uh, uh, you have to mentally abuse them. You can't. They they won't settle for less." What a great, great the the, the way they talk about it is, what, is the power oh. shift in the relationship, where the dominant person then becomes the submissive person, right. and then the whole rest of the relationship you're fighting to, to get, get your that old job bullshit, back. But you ain't getting it back. You flinch. Good way to get, put it. Done. Get out of there. Done. Leave. Right. Yeah. Way to put it. <laughs> right way to put it. With that, let's go back to the tape. And then we didn't wait it like two and a half fucking minutes. You're fucking snoring. Don't you dare wait. You're blaming me right now. Now I'm blaming you. You went to sleep. And I don't blame you. I deserve to be blown first before the fucking jacuzzi. I can't I'll burn the goddamn house down. But blow me first. <laughs> How dare you? How fucking dare you? <laughs> How dare her? How? <laughs> then, then he punctuates it with a. a All she has to do is suck his dick, and he'd be nice, Mel again. How dare she? Do you the get way. this equipment from Radio Shack, by the way? I don't know. Where's, what is this? What's going on? Like, how is she doing uh, this? So really good recording, got some right? Phone recorder. Yeah, yeah she, she fucking set this up phone. in advance. She, she must nicely for herself. This is tremendous. She obviously mm -hmm. had somebody help mm -hmm. her out. Yeah, hell, fucking yes. This dummy. She wouldn't be able to figure this out on her own. right? She's just giggling at him. How oh. amazing <laughs> is it to yell at somebody and, and be serious? Like, that's how Mel gibson yeah. he is to go, you fell asleep without blowing me. Like, I would think that, but never actually I'll say it to a chick. burn the fucking house, house down. down. Blow me. I deserve to be how blown before the fucking jacuzzi. He, he said, so how dare fucking, you? He's so mad. He's so how dare you? Like he insulted <laughs> his mother. Like how dare? Like how dare you not blow me? That's when God invented emotions. It's like he's as close to godly man <laughs> as I, you. Who I can't, have you ever been that fucking? Yes. Yes. Really? Oh, yeah. I, I can't say yeah. And expressed it. Yes. For real. For real. No. I, it, but that, that goes into, I hate to say that the, the tiny rage of Holly, but that's where rage is just fueling itself, and it's not about the argument anymore. It's about anger making you angrier. It's about the anger as opposed to, it's the high of being angry as opposed to the issue. The maddest I've ever been with my, with my woman now. We, we went to get her, uh, she needed a new car, she, a new, new something to drive. It was the choice of, the money was a brand new car, these cheaper cars, yeah. brand new, or an old truck. She wanted badly a truck, mm -hmm. but she kept saying to me, um, what should I do? I said, I think you should use this money to get a brand new car. But I want a truck. But what do you think? What? <laughs> and she did that 75 times <laughs> until my head got so filled up with blood of mad at what she was doing. And I said, what the fuck is wrong with you? And we talked about it yesterday because this Mel Gibson shit opens up that, that shit. Yeah. She thinks in her head that she wasn't doing some manipulative little pussy ass shit. To get her way, so she doesn't understand my fury, because she's going. Because women get to have an excuse for everything. They don't have to have their own shit. They're not taught to go. You know what? I fucked up. I did that. I never heard a girl go. I fucked up. I, I really. That was some stupid. Some some probably do. But 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 they have an excuse. This girl did something to Mel, man. To, yeah. I'm telling you, for him to lose it like that, <laughs> it's because she's just a game player. Dude, I've been so angry before, I've actually had to say to women, and I've never hit a woman in my life, but there's been times where I could, I visualize what their teeth would look like falling out. Wow. <laughs> and I have for real had to say, and this is at a woman who's screaming at me. Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't really, I, I've had it a couple times in my life where I've actually had to scream, you have to shut, you have to stop talking. Like almost like breaking the code of the argument, and going. I, you can. You really have to stop talking. I, I and I'm not threatening. That. I never say I'm going to hit you. But they understand. Oh, this is like this is going to an awful place. And yeah, I'm not yeah, being. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm threatening them. But I think they understand. It's. Like, I, and I, it's like my anger is feeling my how anger. How can you hate mental abuse if you're a woman when 
my next recourse is to put my fist through your fucking head. <laughs> oh, God damn. Like, why are you doing this? Like, that's my next thing. <laughs> like, so how can you not? You, you, let me tell you something. I, I bet you OJ's listening to this going, come on, Mel, do it, nigga. <laughs> do it. You know you want to do it. That's how OJ was feeling right before heads was flying. Yeah, justify what I did. Un unrecorded phone calls of OJ oh, that sounded... Right. Just Probably like very that. similar. You fucked a waiter. Yeah. You fuck yes. it. He's in my fucking car, bitch. He's, he's juicing me correctly. Uh -huh. You. Uh -huh. yes. I'll cut yes. your yes. fucking head off. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Sounded like Macho Man. It's like, uh -huh. <laughs> if a bitch, bitch can get you to sound like Macho Man, boy, it's fucking. Uh -huh. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Well, Do you hear how he's hanging on to his dominance, though? He keeps going, it's over. Get. It's like, like by saying that, he's trying to have her go, no, I don't want it to be over. It's like you've already lost your number one position, your number two. And, and, yeah, I, I, and if it's over, just fucking hang up. Go, it's yeah. done. Yeah, Great done. movie quote is War Games. It's like when you do that, it can't be to... Because, look, if I say to my girl, sweet, I think we got we to gotta wrap this up. It can't be some trick to get her to go, no. It has to be a rational... Like, in war games, it was like, the only winning move is not <laughs> to play. And it's like, I'm not trying to play with your emotions. I know I can be, you know, a lot of times guys are just possessive, man, and mm -hmm. they possess women. We have to be rational. And he is in a bad spot because she used to fear him. She used to fear his rage, his money, his not. He, now he's, he's, he's scrambling, and you can't do that. You cannot no. do that. But you have to make them understand you have to make them understand that the best thing is that they stay mentally where they was when they liked you. Or it's going to end up this. Yeah, but that ain't going to happen. Yeah, that, that's right. so the, rare. The true lesson to learn from war games is just unplug the goddamn thing. <laughs> 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 Unplug that bitch. Just pull uh, out this. All right, let's 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 get <laughs> back to the tape. batteries out. Let's get back to the tape because we got some remixes to play that uh, are people gonna really enjoy. <laughs> you oh. wanted the number of my <laughs> therapist? Don't you ever speak to him? Find your own goddamn therapist. Because <sighs> you got know problems more than me. You need medication. You gotta fucking push my buttons, and it is not going to work with us. It's not. I can't get like this anymore! Okay. And you know you're doing it! And you're a liar! And you're dishonest! And you're fucked up! So you stay the fuck away from me! Take care of your fucking son! And I better have my daughter! I just want my daughter! He's like Steve Martin at the end of The Jerk. I want my daughter and a yeah, maid yeah, yeah. and That's this paper girl. clip. Daughter and a maid. It's a rushless fucking trouble. They clean up after themselves. They make your goddamn bed, which you did not. You don't have to worry about emotional blackmail or any of the other bullshit that you put me through. I just need a nice woman to look after my beautiful daughter. I don't hit the fuck out of anything. You're a pain in the ass. You're a pain in my ass. Stop being that. <laughs> You're a pain in my ass. Nothing but. And that's where that tape ends. Is that's not the greatest cliffhanger? Yeah, yes. Well, since fucking the Empire Strikes Back, <laughs> <laughs> tape number five comes out in forty-five minutes, and we'll wow. have it. And she hangs up on a long time because the beginning of the other tape, he starts know. off, "Don't you fucking hang up?" Oh, on Oh right, right. Yeah, like, she's not now because she's recording. So she's, right, so she's oh, just yeah. she's just she, fucking. You think he's on to it now? <laughs> <laughs> what is he do Maybe he's drunk or high. Yeah. You, maybe he's listening to it maybe with complete she's embarrassment. Not, maybe she's not recording. These, today. No, no, these were all made before. These conversations already happened. He's not just continually calling her. These are done. No, she's no, a I ball. mean now. What is uh, what is oh, literal like, what Jim. is he feeling now? What is he feeling uh, now? Uh, he's I'm embarrassed. Uh, I didn't oh, literal Jim. Uh, like he's... like he'd still be calling. Yeah, <laughs> the oh All the tapes are out and he's still calling. He, he's... I'm embarrassed. <laughs> he shot up. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Okay, fuck it. What's next? He's <laughs> probably sitting there going, "Oh God, I hope it, I it hope she think? didn't. Re I hope she didn't record that other yes. thing." Yes, that that's what he's thinking. There's one he's he has no idea. about. Yeah, yeah. He has no idea which ones were recorded. It sounds like they had a lot of these conversations, and she probably finally fucking had and started taping them. He's probably praying, "Oh God, please don't have Not the fuck one. Haiti call recorded. <laughs> right. Oh, please don't have the oh, fuck Haiti call." Jesus. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yep. He can't handle a 7.0. Those weak, dirty, foreign <laughs> niggas. <laughs> Oh, How weird God. is it that he needs the bed made? Not many guys need their bed made. Well, he's, he's, he probably has a, maid, a daily fucking maid. Yeah, 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 comes in. But he wants her to do that. Jesus, wow. make the bed. What, what is radar online? Weird. Is this thing big? That yeah. Never... It's the guy from MASH <laughs> waiting for something. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you want uh, Jimmy's line again? I want Jimmy's line again. Oh, yeah. Can we hear it, Travis? He starts know. off, don't you fucking hang up oh, on Oh, right, right. Yeah. Like, she's not now because she's recording. So she's, Right, so she's oh, just yeah. she's just fucking... <laughs> you think he's on to it now? <laughs> <laughs> what is he do? Maybe he's drunk or high. Yeah. You, maybe he's listening to it maybe with complete embarrassment. Maybe she's not recording these, No, no, these were all made before. These conversations <laughs> already happened. He's not just continually calling her. These are done. No, She's no, a I mean ball. now. What is? Uh, what is? Oh, oh literal like, What is he feeling now? What is he feeling now? Oh, oh Jimmy. Wow, Jimmy. <laughs> Listening <laughs> back to that. When Patrice was saying she's drunk, he's drunk or high. I thought that he meant. I didn't. I misunderstood him. So I thought he thought that like that call was just made. And I thought and you said paid, that. And then he's still calling. What do you got me in the paint on my list, kid? And I thought you said the calls were made already. The calls were made. I'm spider. an asshole. <laughs> I'm a Spidey. fucking cunt. That was great. Hey, how's Mel Dillon? Maybe he's he's a complete. He's just such a powerful guy. He'll just go. Ah, right, so they'll forget it with my next. He don't good care. Movie. You know what? Yeah, right. he's got he's got plenty of money. Makes his own movies. He don't care. What do you guys want to hear? D Boy has two more fucking remixes. Uh, which one do you want to hear first? Tiger Woods or Dog the Bounty Hunter? Dog the Bounty Hunter. I think that's gonna be really good. So let's go with Tiger right. first. I'm sure they're both good, but. I mean, yeah, dog likes the N-word, so that could be... <laughs> I think that one's going to be really, really fucking good. Uh, Mel Gibson talks to Tiger Woods, thanks to D-Boy. Hey, it's, uh, it's Tiger. Can you please take your name off your phone? My wife went through my phone and uh, maybe calling you. What the fuck do you hope to accomplish with that? Uh, what are you hoping to accomplish with that? How dare you act like such a bitch! And, um... I've done nothing but be nice to you! Um... How dare you! How fucking dare you! If you can, please take your name off that. <laughs> we call it, just have it as a number. What? On the voice now. Just have it as your telephone number. That's it. Okay, you gotta do this for me. You fucking don't care about me. I'm having a hard time and you fucking yank the rug, you bitch. You fucking selfless bitch. All right, bye. Very good. They never talked on the phone, though. Oh, literal Jim. <laughs> Did Tiger? Now, why is Tiger and Mel talking? <laughs> yeah, sounds to me like Mel's roaring like a tiger. You know. <laughs> hey, uh, Doug the Bounty Hunter also talked to Mel Gibson. <laughs> Thanks to D Boy. Fucking Chip. <laughs> I'm not taking a chance on some motherfucker. I don't care if she's a Mexican, a whore, whatever. It's not because she's black. It's because we use the word nigger sometimes here. What? I'm not going to take a chance ever in life of losing everything I've worked for for 30 years because some fucking nigger heard us say nigger and turned us into the Enquirer magazine. How dare you? How fucking dare you? Our career is over. <laughs> Our career is over. You can't give a fuck! I'm not taking that chance at all. Never in life. Never. Never. I just need a nice woman to look after my beautiful daughter. I don't hit the fuck already. Never mind. What the fuck were you gonna say? If Leach was dating a nigger, we would all say fuck you. What the fuck do you hope to accomplish with that? What are you hoping to accomplish with that? And you know that. If you do that, it's over. How dare you act like such a bitch? If Leach had brought the black guy home, you out of that. And it's not that they're black. It's none of that. It's that we use the word nigger. We don't mean you what? fucking scum nigger without a soul. We don't mean that shit. <laughs> But America would think we mean that. You have no fucking soul. 
<laughs> so I'll help you get another job, but you cannot work here unless you break up with her. And she's out of your life. I can't handle that shit. No! How dare you? How fucking dare you? So you just let me know. I got to go. But what you're doing later, bye. Jesus. <laughs> I forgot how fucking We bad forgot that, about Dog the Bounty dog Hunter. Calling. But man, he's and on TV again. Back on he's TV. back on TV. He went on the apology to fucking, uh, I want to be buried where slaves are. Oh, fucking dog. <laughs> Remember that one? <laughs> I think black people were embarrassed for him. They're like, all right, just we got it. You don't mean it. Back on, you Just dumb give him his show back. Mullet headed asshole. He, and they had to look at that fat pig he has to fuck. Yes. They're like, look, just put, we, we put him back on TV. Because that is. How did he fucking survive that? I, I was know. listening. That's the part I was. Uh, yeah. I was like, wow, I didn't realize like, that. How did, it's so I graphic, how, that fucking shit. I forgot how bad that was. Yeah, we used the word. And it was worse because it was so logical. Listen, the thing yeah. is, we say nigger a lot. You really can't date a nigger. Around the house. You yeah. say around the house. <laughs> yeah, <and> casually. <laughs> What, wow. what, he, he sounds like the Jimmy Dean sausage guy. We're a big family. We like a lot of sausage <laughs> oh, here. Sausage. We like to say nigger here. <laughs> <laughs> How did he fucking come back? He's back on TV. That show's their biggest show, man. Yeah, yeah that's it what it was. That that show, their if that show is rated show. 14th, yep. he'll be really be gone. chasing yeah. fucking criminals again. He'd be yep. the bounty hunter like the real quicker picker up for you know? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> hey, uh, D-Boy oh, also shit. took the Mel Gibson audio <laughs> and he made a little song for everybody. A song? It's quick. <clears throat> That's, oh my god. That's actually genius, oh man. D-Boy is a star today. Dude, there's no, I guarantee you there's no show making better fucking, oh, fucking Mel Rick mixes than this. It can't be. Oh, D-Boy no. rules. Great job, Jesus man. Jesus Christ. Oh, Hilarious, Derek. Oh. Good, right? That's great. Oh, That's great. Shit. Jesus. Um, <laughs> also, by the way, uh, a little side note: our Entenmann's uh, crumb cake has arrived. Patrice and I were very oh. responsible. We each had. Thank you to Morton's for setting what I think is the best carrot cake anywhere. And fucking Patrice and I had a couple of delicious bites, and then fucking Did put you? it aside. Lost it. Like a couple. Yeah, now, now, what did we know. ask for from Entenmann's? Um, that that was it. The chocolate chip. What did I crumb say? Crumb cake. Entenmann's just crumb, crumb cake. Crumb you wanted cake. regular crumb cake and <laughs> chocolate chip crumb cake. Crumb cream. I love crumb cake. Don't say it like that. Why? It's, it's Don't delicious. Don't say it like that. If you, I, oh, the chocolate chips? I'm not saying that crumb cake is not good without them, but I prefer... This sucks. It's got like a creamier feeling to it. <laughs> it says loaf cake on it. Who the loaf. fuck wants to eat loaf? What is that? A, that means... Hold on, no. That means it's a lazy cake, you know? Oh, it's <laughs> loafing. Loaf. Also, I asked for the Enemans crumb cake, the original. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, of course, Steve bought Ultimate. I said, I don't want Ultimate. I don't ultimate? want double. Double crumb. I don't oh, want any of that shit. I just want the fucking regular Entenmann's crumb cake. Ugh. You don't have to make it better. It's already great. I think Steve bought things that Steve is going to want to eat after the show. I asked you for the regular fucking crumb cake, Steve, and you got the ultimate crumb cake, <laughs> you fucking cunt! Blow me! <laughs> <laughs> I've been nice to you, <laughs> and you give me the wrong fucking crumb cake! You cunt! I just want somebody to get me the right crumb cake. <laughs> See, I'm ready to pass out just doing that. I deserve to be blown before you put a watermark on it! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I want to be blown, and then I'm going to take your website down. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, oh, smell, Mel, calm down. Yeah. Stop <laughs> hollering at me. <laughs> when are we going to fucking find out what she did? That's what yeah, Mel yeah. will have a way of leaking. He has to. He has to at this point. Unless it really is nonsense like this that's just dom a power maybe, struggle maybe in a relationship. He need, maybe, it's like she said, he needs medication or something. <laughs> oh, maybe I think he's really, you off, think? Off the deep I wanna, end. I'm gonna, uh, you need a bat up the side. You, I deserve yeah. to be blown before the jacuzzi. When that's the zenith of your argument, you have to go with the medication. I, you know something, though? I do believe I heard that Sunday at the party. <laughs> so I might not be just crazy. <laughs> that's <at all>. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said it to Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You didn't need to be told. Danny said, why are you so happy? And you said, I deserve to be blown before the jacuzzi. <laughs> Thanks, pal. <laughs> why don't we uh, continue with the remixes, even though we played a bunch of these yesterday. Which one do you want to hear next? we got Double Rainbow Guy, Pat O'Brien, Terry Schiavo is one of my favorites. Which one? Um, Terry Schiavo so grab one, mean. Yeah, they were all fucking good, well, We're going to play all three. Fuck it. What else are we doing? Terry right Schiavo. Uh, Terry I, Shivo that's first? just unnecessary. It's I'd go so with that like... One. It's, it's horrendous. This is yeah. all D-Boy? All fucking D-Boy. All, all Derek. D-Boy is a star. Yes, he is. D-Boy steps out today. I can. I have plenty of energy to drive over there. You understand me? Uh, you need a fucking bat in the side of the head. Uh, All right? How about that? You need a fucking doctor. You need a fucking brain transplant. You need a fucking... You need a fucking soul. What? What? <laughs> So, so wrong. wrong. It's Completely fucking amazing. Fucking though. wrong. It's it is so amazing. Fucking why is she on wild. the phone anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Don't question it. Yeah, but why? Is no, it? no, no. Why in? It, the, not the, that thing is great. But why was Terry Shiva on the fucking phone? <laughs> In oh real my life. God, Jimmy, you're oh, off the hook. Oh, literal oh, Patrice. No, literal Patrice. No, meaning uh, what the fuck was that recording? It, of her on a phone or it, something? No, no, it wasn't no. on a phone. It's just her. Okay. It was a recording of her. Oh, being oh, on shit. He's giving I, you a look. I, I don't, deciding dude, whether to pull the plug on I it. I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> oh Everything God. else has been on the phone. Why? I thought somebody was just talking to Terry Shiva on a fucking phone. phone. My head itches. <laughs> Why is Terry Shiva on the phone? You, no, that was recording, man. I swear. My, <laughs> She was trying to find out movie times. <laughs> <laughs> Take your temperature. Why was she on the uh, phone? Do you need sugar? I don't know. You need some orange juice? Oh, like, I don't know. Are you losing you? I D thought that that was... Service, can I help you? <laughs> yes. yes. I yes. think it's somebody is fucking talking to her no, on you're, the phone. You're, you're right. She was calling a bomb threat into an abortion clinic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ms. Shivo, do you think they should pull the plug on you uh. or not? Uh. Oh, my God, Patrice. Uh. God bless you. She, that, that was a recording that was I'm made. I'm that carrot cake, motherfucker. Yeah, that was in the hospital <laughs> when her father, her family was trying to prove that she could communicate. Oh, right. It ended when uh, she uh, hit <laughs> hit the bottom left-hand corner of her iPhone, oh. and uh, oh. she, it, it, the oh. call cut out, and so did she. <laughs> D-Boy is exploding with fucking, I'm thinking... I don't know where he's getting recordings from. It's amazing, he called her. Why is Terry well, Shivo on? The, why does my line get replayed yeah. and not and not the right, fucking right, biggest miss enough. ever? Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'll take your. That's second, right too. up there with the Jew who said, "Oh look, these Germans are coming into Warsaw to help us redecorate." <laughs> Are you embarrassed, Patrice? Uh, Are you no, heating up a little bit? Not, not even a drop. <laughs> but, but it is funny. I do now understand. That's why it's like, an a, I'm like, I stink. Uh, <laughs> uh, Janine's got a suggestion uh, for D-Boy. 
how about one with red from tube bar? Oh, oh God, yeah. God, God damn it. Go. I'll cut Z's in your cheeks. We only, what? <laughs> yeah, we only uh, trust D-Boy. Give D-Boy yeah. the fucking red tapes. Yes. Janine gets <laughs> full red. credit. Yes. All right. Hey, uh, uh, we got the line? All right, here we go. Holy that shit. Is that is so, so wrong. wrong. It's, it's completely fucking amazing. Fucking it's fucking wrong. It is so amazing. Fucking why is she on the phone anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Don't question it. Yeah, but why? No, no, no. Why in. Not to, that thing is great, but why was Terry Shivo on the fucking phone in <laughs> oh real life? Oh my god, Jimmy, you're oh, off the hook. Oh, literal oh, Patrice. No, no. Patrice. no. <laughs> he goes, no, no. I said my brain would not accept no. it. You're like, no. My brain was, it was not accepting it that. Was and I'm a like, phone call. Uh, I'm like, oh shit. It, uh, to me, she knew that was a phone call. At some point in 19, whatever, where the fuck she, she was talking to somebody she on the called. phone. That's yeah. my brain. That would have really called. removed the argument that she was a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was making prank calls. Yeah, she's calling and they're like, quick, pull the plug. Oh, hi, Terry. Uh, oh. Uh, why don't we, why don't we uh, do Pat O'Brien now from D Boy? Pat Another D Boy creation. Yes, Mel Gibson and Pat O'Brien. time you left a message on a, on a phone Not when was the last time i used a phone i yeah, text i don't really leave messages i don't, I don't use my yeah. phone as a phone anymore don't leave a message from my girl you just call and she sees the missed call call back yeah that, yeah there's no reasoning yeah Why yeah people know your numbers your right there these people just leave a message there's no reason to leave a message <laughs> in 2010 a tiger and stupid pat o'brien you know what i'm he, gonna leave all i'm gonna leave these ridiculous messages like you used to have to leave a message or no one would know you called now it's just oh here it is you fucking got mm -hmm. everything name number <laughs> picture everything's right. there right. that's the who called. time they called everything i'm gonna leave a fucking message uh the last one for for now more coming in more remixes he boys in. like puff mm -hmm. Yeah, he's fucking just rocking this shit. And let's not forget, tape number five coming out at 9.30, a brand new fucking tape. Yes. Brand new fucking tape coming I in 20 minutes. I cannot wait. Yeah, but, but first, uh, let's do the Double Rainbow remix. You saw the Double Rainbow video, right, on YouTube? Oh, no. Another guy that didn't that see it. That's so... I guess Rogan's right. We'll the guy the losing it over it. the fucking Double Rainbow that he saw? He no. saw a rainbow, rainbow, and then he realizes that above it is another rainbow. Mm-hmm. It isn't even really a whole rainbow, but whatever. He seems to think it is. So he he starts videotaping it and losing his mind. All the way. Okay. Double rainbow! Oh my god, it's a double rainbow all the way. Whoa, that's so intense. It's so beautiful. <laughs> this is just shocking. <laughs> Why is it shocking? And He's five million happy. people watch this horse shit. <laughs> it's, it's this guy. It, it's done another million since yesterday, this dumb I'm video. I'm trying to figure out his, what is his. 
I know he's happy, but what is the happiness? The double rainbow. The double rainbow. Oh, nigga, it's, rainbow. A, it's a reflection of the one. <laughs> What if it was 12? <laughs> you don't see double rainbows. Oh He's crying. Oh, my God. He's happy. He's Who's interviewing this guy? No one. He's totally on the video camera. No, someone should be interviewing. Oh, like, he yeah, should be on a talk have. show. Going, what the fuck is wrong with Did you? Did Kimmel grab him or something? No, Kimmel oh, got him. Did we try to get him? Probably not. No. What else is that guy? I have double rainbow guy. Yes. Is he seeing God oh to God. him or something? Or? I'm sure. Yeah, he said, what does it mean? Oh I'll be crying God. if I said, oh, it shit, means. there's two pots of gold. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go, bitch. Oh, <laughs> there's a fucking leprechaun. <laughs> oh, boy. Too much. That's what it means. <laughs> It means you're a fucking sissy. <laughs> <laughs> no, what a Mary. Oh my god. It's so intense. It's not intense. It's at all. not. This is overrated. Like him. Oh, his double, his joy. Double rainbow all the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've seen rainbows in spilt water on the ground. What you just oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah. Think of, <laughs> right. think of in colors. The sprinkler. Fucking when idiot. the sprinkler's going, you see a rainbow in it. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice but to rainbow, see, I think the size of the double, double Sub rainbow. rainbow. <laughs> Sprinkler <laughs> rainbow. Double rainbow. The rainbow. I stick my middle finger at eclipses. <laughs> <laughs> you don't give a shit about any of that stuff. Uh, oh, it's just to you, eclipse. Yeah, exactly. Suck, suck a dick. The moon's in front of the sun. <laughs> Eat my ass off. Fuck you, solar wind. <laughs> <laughs> what about a harvest moon? Are you going to a harvest moon? No. Yeah. Who get, I, you know when I see big moons, yeah. I go, oh, yeah. uh, niggas going to be acting. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yeah. I was staying in a fucking house. That's right. I, I did this to a fucking. I, I can't think of it. I wanted to say supernova, but I couldn't think of it. So uh, I had to just do the motion oh, twice. The, the Aurora Italian Borealis. Eat my balls. Like, I don't give a fuck. Really? <laughs> fucking dumb. <laughs> Nothing gets to you. No, it, like, none of that shit because it exists. Stuff. Unless I see a white man with a beard going, Patrice. Oh, shit. You're the you're, man. You're true. <laughs> all right, well, D-Boy did the Mel Gibson uh, double rainbow. Double rainbow all the way across the sky. Fuck you. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> oh, my God. What does this mean? Call me. All right? How about that, bitch? <laughs> there you go. Another remix. I'm gonna watch that rainbow thing again at the house. I'm gonna have to fucking watch yeah, it you and try to figure it out. Yeah, it is something you gotta watch a couple of times, like like the other guy. The I still love you. <laughs> I watched that thing so many fucking times, and it got funnier every time. Which one? The one from, from uh, Intervention. You've never seen. You've never that. seen that guy, Patrice. Oh, this come guy. On. I've seen a lot of things. I can't see all no, things. I, I, I didn't know that's that's true. That's true. Well, we did a lot with this, this guy one on our show. And play it three times in a row, Danny. Just three times in a row. It needs to be three times in a row. Yeah, yeah. Then you get the full impact. So what's the setup? A little intervention. The kid's like, you know, opening up his uh, heart to his dad. There. I guess he used to be a, a boxing Boxer champion. Or some shit. Yeah. But no. Somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Piano right before six million I people saw this. Love yeah. you. you think the guy's happy? Six million people have seen this. 
You have to hope he can. <laughs> you guys fantastic. How does it end again? <laughs> it's Terry Shivo on the phone. <laughs> oh, that motherfucker. Boy, You've never oh, seen that, boy. Patrice? No. That was a big <laughs> That one was a big Oh, he fuck it. And he was still trying to maintain his his madness because he's like yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kinda trying was, to keep cool and that shit just... Kind of yeah, gotcha. rubbing his beard. <laughs> kind of like, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. All right, listen. Sons love. Let's go to break. <laughs> it is just amazing. Uh, another Mel Gibson tape. Uh, oh, fuck, it. minutes away, hopefully. Hopefully Can't we'll wait. get it right away. You better get it quick because that stupid uh, radar online. Yeah, that's where they're coming from. <laughs> Shut down, boy! You try to pull that shit up. Uh -huh. Everybody is on that site trying to get this Mel Gibson. Sure, ship. it's very popular. Uh, Anthony, you know what? What the hell? One more. Uh, this is by Troy Kwan, actually. The metal song. You liked it, right? Troy Kwan. Troy Kwan came up with kind of a death metal thing here. Metal Mel, smile and blow me. A song by metal Troy metal. Kwan. As we go to break. <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, I guess people are taking a bathroom break. That's all right. Opie and Anthony Shell <laughs> eagerly awaiting the arrival of tape number five from Mel Gibson. It's, it's a countdown. This is great. It's like a fucking box set. It's like when they re just release things one after another, and you can't wait for the next the next episode, like an old time serial. It's the Mel Quintology. Yes, and they're trying to. to they trying to. They, they, you see the news trying to, to like adulterate this thing by saying it may be fake or whatever. But even yeah. if even if they prove it to be fake, they're just ruining it. Like like, yeah. what are you Don't trying to it. do? Don't wreck it. Like, this what are you doing? Because if it wasn't if it wasn't what it was, I think Mel would be out. Like going, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Unless he's getting his forces together. But there's no way, like I said, it's just too inflammatory, some of the shit he said. <laughs> like, 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 just too fucking crazy. Unless Mel is sitting there getting the contraption right where it, you, it's, it, in his house, there's like a, there's a fucking, a rail system with a cut out shape of her holding <laughs> the baby and it, and he, and he pulls a, like a lever and she's, <laughs> And her and her her silhouette is just going back and forth in front of the window. <laughs> She's killing her and the baby right now, burying them, and then like just letting that keep going every day for the next four days. Yes, yeah. and I'm her just running back and forth. And then he leaves, and that baby thing is still moving. He flies to somewhere, makes a couple of calls, and then, and then it's like that's his alibi. So what he's doing is yeah. preparing a very elaborate murder. <laughs> that would be pretty elaborate. She I've might be dead already, the, you know. The machine cartoon character yeah. back and forth in front of the window alibi. And it just turns by. Mm, mm, and, and, <laughs> I saw her at the window the other day. Mel wasn't even there. Is that an alibi? <laughs>